In this video, I'm going to show you all the steps to set up a deep learning environment using Anaconda and PyCharm. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download Anaconda. So we're going to search Anaconda download. We're going to go to that first page and uh, we're going to click on this download. It's going to take us to the bottom of the page. And then we're just going to take the installation that's for our, uh, our PC. So I, I have Windows 64-bit. Uh, While that is downloading, we can open another tab. And we're going to Google PyCharm. And let's see. We're going to click Download. And we're just going to take the community, the free version. Um, it's good enough. So we're going to press Download. Now that we have both of those installed, we're going to first install Anaconda. So run as administrator. Then we're just going to press continue or I guess next. Uh, I agree and I don't think this matters too much. I'm just going to pick all users and then we're going to do that looks fine. Those are good as default and we're just going to install that. Then you're just going to press next and just finish. So what we're going to do next is what we can do. We can Google uh, Conda cheat sheet or something like that. And those are going to tell us pretty much all of the necessary commands. So we're going to search Anaconda. And you can open this Anaconda Navigator, but I always use the prompt. So we can do everything from there. Let's make the font a little bit bigger. All right. So in the Anaconda here, we can see that we have, um, for example, Conda Update Conda. So we can do that. Uh, conda Update Conda. Just gonna press yes. Then what we could do, for example, is uh, conda info. You can get some information about the conda that you've downloaded. Really, the only thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna create an environment. So how we do that is we do conda create and then hyphen hyphen on name, and then we're just gonna call it uh, deep learning. And then just create that environment. We're gonna do conda activate deep learning. And then we're just going to go to PyTorch website. And on PyTorch website, if we scroll down, we're going to use, so we're going to set up the build. So um, you can choose the stable one or the preview nightly. I'm just going to pick the preview nightly. I think it's pretty stable anyways. And then Windows, uh, Conda, Python, and then uh, the latest CUDA version. So just a little note on this. If you don't have a CUDA enabled uh, GPU, then you... I'm not sure if you can actually pick this one, uh, but either way, you wouldn't need it. So you could just press none for that one and just uh, download the CPU only version. Although if you don't have a GPU, what are you doing? We're just going to copy that. We're going to copy that in into the prompt. We're going to press enter and it's going to download a bunch of stuff. Python, everything we need to use PyTorch. We're just going to press uh, Y and then enter. Uh, one thing here is that PyTorch says 0%. I think there's something wrong with the loading bar. So so it's been running for a while for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to press enter and then it continues downloading. Now that that is done, we have our environment. We have PyTorch. We have Python. We have everything we need. And so th the strength of Anaconda is really that you can have these different environments and you could have, I don't know, Python 2.7 on one and Python 3.7 on another. So that can be useful sometimes. So then we'll just go back to that folder and we're going to install PyCharm. And then we're going to press next. Uh, the default is fine for me, so we're just going to press next. And I'm going to use a desktop shortcut. That's about it. And I'm going to press next. I'm going to install that. And then we're just going to run PyCharm. Uh, do not import settings because I don't have any. Then I'm just going to pick the Darkula. We're going to change the color scheme or if you want, we're going to change the color scheme. Uh, and then we're going to press next. And uh, you probably shouldn't do anything here, but I'm going to use uh, Vim because I like that. So I'm just going to press here, but you probably shouldn't. And then I'm going to just press start using PyCharm. And then the first thing we're going to do before we create any project, we're going to configure. And we're going to do settings. And in the settings, uh, we're going to go to the project interpreter. 
and at the top right we're going to press on that uh, wheel and we're going to press add then we're going to go down to condo environment we're going to do existing environment then on the existing environment you should have the deep uh, the deep learning that you just created or whatever name you took then we're going to press make available to all project and we're just going to press ok and that should make that the default one we're going to press apply and ok then we're going to do create new project we're going to call it something like uh, test one two three and then we're going to uh, use the existing interpreter and we're going to use the python 3.8 the deep learning one we're going to do create this might take a while to run uh, we're just going to wait for it all right and then we can press on this folder right here or i guess we can do it up here as well file new and we're just going to press the python file and we're going to do uh, test and then what we can do so this text is kind of small i'm just going to go to settings uh, editor font i'm just going to change this to 20 and then you could just hide that one so that you have more space and then you can start you know import torch uh, print torch dot uh, version and then you can run that up here or the alt shift f10 and then you get the version that you have now what i like to do is um, i like to use another color scheme so i'm just going to uh, show you how to get that one as well and for that we're just going to google uh, groovebox and we're going to groovebox pycharm and then we're going to go to that link and and so what it should recognize, if you just wait for like 10 seconds, it's going to uh, install to IDE because it's going to recognize that you have PyCharm installed. You're going to press that one and then you're going to go back to PyCharm and you're just going to press OK and accept. Then that looks awful, but we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to font again and we're going to do current editor font. We're going to press that one and then we're going to change this group box from light to dark medium. And we're just going to press apply. Now it looks like from the beginning of the video, what I like to do as well, I like to do view, appearance, and then enter Zen mode so that it uh, looks pretty clean. And then, you know, you can do everything that, that you want uh, from, from, the, from using PyTorch. So now you have all the basic packages really uh, to start doing some, some deep learning. If you run into any issues uh, setting up your deep learning environment uh, using Anaconda, then let me know and I will try my best to help you out so that you can really just start to focus on learning the stuff, which is the goal. With that said, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you find it useful and I hope to see you in the next video.